So this is my review of Octopussy. Octopussy starts off with a chase. Uh, it opens in a circus, actually, and while this may not be the ideal uh, start for James Bond film, it really does pick up from there. You see Roger Moore go to a gas station, give that cheesy little smile, say, fill her up, please. The movie is very light. It takes itself in a very light manner, and that's a good thing. This doesn't have to be a hard-edged film like the Dalton ones that came later, but in a way that could have been a good thing. The problem here is there's such a lack of seriousness. I mean, there's a bomb at a circus. This is a James Bond film. These are meant to be polished. This falls very close in line with Quantum of Solace when it comes to breaking out of that mold in a bad way. This doesn't feel entirely like it should be a James Bond film. When you look at License to Kill with Timothy Dalton, those movies were violent. They were raw. But at least they added to the character of James Bond, like Skyfall and Casino Royale have. Those movies have added to the canon. Octopussy is just a massive step back. It has James Bond using all the gadgets he would have used in Goldfinger from Russia with Love. But instead, it's at such a ridiculously paced... The story is just so ridiculous. I mean, he's a, he goes to a circus... There's more chases with these other female lovers. I mean, the Roger Moore character is easily the Bond to probably have the most weird films. He may have done the, the most, too, but he's just also been in so many campy ones. So you really can't forget that with Octopussy. I mean, the character's name is Octopussy. It's named after this woman, one of Bond's love interests, the main one who happens to be working at a circus that is run by these terrorists and there's also an octopus cult and there's also an auction at the beginning which isn't that bad that was one of my least worst parts of the film i didn't think it was overall boring it's just such a step back for the bonds yeah